Okay, this one's for all the game designers out there. As we all know, the most common currency is gold coins. So uh, let's create a couple symbols, two symbols, gold coin. It might be useful for some of you game designers out there. So let's start with the simplest possible combination. Simplest combinations are all pretty easy. So we've got G, yeah, curl a little more, O, L, D, coin, C, O, I, N. Okay, let's start with the word gold here. Now, th these aren't bad, actually. I kind of like the way these look. They're quite character and boxy. They could easily be fit to sit alongside Chinese characters. But let's go further. We can decrease the stroke requirements, write it faster, and maybe even make them look better. So first of all, G. Remember, the G loop can go in any direction. Oh, sorry. In any direction you feel like. And for this one, especially when it starts a word, it can be drawn like so. Kind of like a question mark coming down. And you got your G. O, L, D. I like that a little better than the previous one, but it's all up to... It, that's a matter of... Well, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, let's put it that way. Now, O, L. This is O, this is L. This can be O, L. Remember, the, o, the this part of the L is the key component. Down the middle, this is the word line. Just like the C, the key component is a dash on the right side. And just like the B, the key component is the hook. The word line is just a way to connect all these letters together so that we have a way to read the word in a fluid motion. So, let's put, uh, and so we've got gold. Now the D doesn't have to have this extra little bar when it's at the last letter of a word. Why? Because it's obvious it's not a D. There's only two letters that are long horizontal bars, D and H. If this was an H, it would have this. Therefore, you don't need this part of the dash. It's unnecessary. You can always draw it if you want, but it's unnecessary. And finally, we can simplify that once more by putting the D inside of the O like so. Remember, it should extend outside of the O, the lines of the D, um, to fill the writing space to make clear that it is a D. A D is long, an L is a dash. So there we have the word gold. I like this version of the word gold. Anyways, it's my favorite. There's obviously more, but we'll stick with these for now. Now, coin. Coin's a fun word. I love words that start with C. Why? Because you start with an intersection. You can go both ways. You can do a side chain right at the beginning of the word. Great for four letter words too. Specifically this word, I can already see how I'm going to do it. C O I N. This version of the I N. Now I hesitated there just for demonstration purposes. Let's draw this nicely. C O I N. That's starting to look pretty good. Now, this, I kind of like this, but there's one more thing we should look at. We're looking at the word coin. Again, circle. We like circles. Look like coins. So, let's try to, we could either put the C on the top and draw a giant circle, or we could put the C on the right side and do a circle like that. Both of those are C-O. So, now we're looking at C-O. We could put the I and inside in any way we want. We can even separate them. They don't even have to be connected because we know we're reading top to bottom. So, or we could go like so. And we've got the word coin. Looks a little bit more like a coin. It's a little unfortunate that the word does start in a C, actually, because now we can't get that off of our coin. We can't put it inside. If, if for some reason the word coin started with an O, that would be just so convenient in Descript. So, we've got our word, gold, three strokes, see, one. I don't have to lift the pen, I just make that circle at the end of my loop. Coin. Um, which one are we going to use? Let's use this this one. I kind of like that one. Gold coin. Great for symbols and glyphs when, when necessary in games and art.